Hi everyone, I'm Wes Filliman, creator of MobileLink, and I'd like to walk through version 4 of MobileLink for the iPhone. For this demo, I'm connected to an ISY994 using our MobileLink Connect cloud service, and MobileLink has all the plugins installed. The first thing you'll see that's different from our previous version of MobileLink is our new dashboard layout replacing My Favorites. Tap the icons to activate the item, or tap the gear icon to dig into the settings of that device, scene, or program. Tap the sort icon in the upper right corner to select how you want to see your dashboard. If custom, you can tap the lock to rearrange your layout. Tap the lock again to set the position. If you slide the screen out to the right, you'll see a shortcut menu where you can navigate to all the different parts of your system. At the top, you have quick access to your different profiles if you connect to multiple sites. Just underneath that, we have icons for the ISY weather plugin module and voice control. MobiLink is ready for your voice commands. Turn my office off. Setting office light to off. Under controls, you've got quick access to your dashboard, scenes, devices, programs, thermostats, and energy. If you have more than one thermostat, the slide out menu will bounce between the two thermostat readings. Energy and alarm will behave in the same way as energy consumption changes or your alarm changes status. One of the major changes to MobLink is in the next menu item, Cameras. The IP Camera plugin for the iPhone has been updated with our separate MobileLink Cam Viewer app and all the features we introduced with that separate app release. The two biggest features are resizable camera views that you can place in any order. The second major feature is Camera Collections. Slide the screen to the left to expose additional camera settings. To create a new camera or add a collection, tap Add New. Let's add in a new collection called Vacation Home. From here, tap the cameras you want to include in your new collection and resize as needed. Tap a camera to go into the single camera view. Here you'll see additional features like preset positions, pan tilt zoom controls, tag devices scenes programs, as well as a live audiograph. Slide the screen to the left for more options for your camera. Here you can edit or clone the camera as well as set audio gains, sound cutoff levels, or set to be notified when the camera breaks your predefined sound level. We've already got this set, so let's go ahead and demonstrate how this works. The blue line at the bottom represents the sound cutoff level, and if we make a little bit of noise in the garage, you'll see that we'll get a notification if we're in background. The next setting is Drop Notify, and it will notify you, like the sound level notification, if you lose connection to the camera while MobileLink is running in the background and streaming from your camera. And then lastly, you can delete the camera by tapping Delete or by going to All Cameras and dragging the camera feed into the trash can. Our other security option is Alarm, and this appears if you have the ELK module installed in the ISY, and you have the ELK plugin installed in MobileLink. Tap the green icon to arm or disarm,
That's a notification that I've got set up to notify me when my house is armed. Same with disarmed. This is using our push notification service feature as part of Mobile Link Connect. All optional, and you can set up a lot of different options with your ELK system or with any device, program, or variable state. If you hold the green icon, you'll get additional arming options. For your zones, if you tap a zone, you'll get the option to toggle bypass. If you tap outputs, you have a list of all your different outputs here that you can toggle on or off. Under settings, you've got many options on how you want MobileLink to behave, including setting up geofence perimeters, push notification settings, copy your settings to another iOS device, your Insteon controller settings, MobileLink Connect cloud service options, voice control options, and much more. If you have questions for us, you can reach us a number of different ways using the Contact Us button. I hope you found this walkthrough useful and enjoy using our new MobileLink version 4. Thanks.